believe how long it took me to record that first bit of the video. And not because I struggled to roll around on the floor, but it's because the Tech & Trump garage door I've chosen has a laser beam here, which when broken, prevents the door from closing. You can't see it because it's magic. The panel joints are also finger trap protected and the lifting springs are fitted high up in closed trays away from inquisitive fingers. I'm going to be straight with you though, it wasn't the safety options that attracted me to this door. I'm far too superficial. Firstly, I discovered that because I didn't want a roller door, because I find them quite ugly, I needed to have a sectional garage door because it's so close to the pavement. Now this is the case with a lot of properties in San Francisco and I just completely fell in love with it when I was over there. And it just goes perfectly with the transitional style I'm going for. This is the Georgian door with an embossed wood grain texture. The contemporary twist being the anthracite grey colour to go with the front door, which is actually a standard one, but you can have custom colours made. To me, this makes a huge difference to the front of the building, so I wasn't going to go for any old door. I think the second most important thing for me was to avoid drafts. The Tech & Trup Automatic has 40 mm thick insulated panels and weather protection between each panel at the tops, sides and bottom of the door. Good news for the environment and my bills. The whole point of a sectional garage door is it takes up less space than a swing out door, but the frame can sit behind the doors. So if I ever got myself a Mahusu car, never gonna happen by the way, then I'd have loads of space. A lot of you had recommended Tech and Truck to me because they are such solid doors. The multiple rollers and motor keep the door securely closed and the motor even pushes back if someone attempts to force the door. Now, geek out on this bit. My door is powered by a car tech drive motor and opens by remote control. I have the power pack option that will keep things working if there's a power cut and an auto close function so I don't need to stop on the road to close it. There's even extra lighting on the control unit which comes on automatically due to the motion sensor. Ha, you thought how long could you possibly talk about a garage door? 